Welcome everyone to German Tool Reviews. Today we have the Ghidorah 1102L, which is a Ghidorah branded Sortimo L-Box Mini. This is a micro version of the Boss Sortimo L-Box storage system. These are made in Poland. The dimensions of the unit are 260 by 155 by 63 millimeters. The Mini is designed so that two of them can fit into a standard iBox 72 module. I actually bought three of these units so I could try out the interlocking features and because you can also never have enough storage containers. Inside one of the units was this control sheet which is added for quality assurance in case there is an issue with the product. These are actually quite a bit different from the normal size L-Box units. The first difference is that the plastic is entirely polypropylene whereas the L-Box uses ABS. ABS is a much stronger and harder plastic. The main advantage of polypropylene over ABS is weight and flexibility. Polypropylene is what is used in plastic milk jugs. The cover uses the familiar milky clear plastic that is often seen in polypropylene containers. The rest of the box uses a gloss black color. Looking at the injection molding marks on the bottom, we see the following. The Sortimo name with LB Mini, the year and month clock markings, polypropylene recycling symbol, a cup and fork symbol which indicates the material is food safe, and a dishwasher symbol which indicates the unit is dishwasher safe. Since this is a food safe container, I may actually turn one of these into a lunchbox. Also on the bottom are small circular feet on each corner built into the mold. This should prevent excessive scratching on the lid when stacking the units together. Looking at the lid, it is obvious that the Ghidorah label is a sticker, but it isn't obvious how it was applied as there are no seams on the top of the lid. It is almost like the sticker was applied and then an additional lamination was applied on the cover afterwards. It is safe to say that this sticker won't be coming off easily. Opening the box, we see six divided compartments. Compartment dividers consist of three short pieces and two long pieces. It doesn't look like you can combine the long pieces to make two long vertical compartments. It is nice that they made these customizable in case you have longer hardware that you want to store in here. Both dividers are marked with LB Mini TW and are also made of polypropylene. Just like we did with the Fez Tool Sustainer, we will do an M5 washer shake test to see how well the compartment holds its contents. As you can see, it doesn't fare well for small thin parts such as washers. Let's try the same shake test with some larger hardware. In this case, some quarter 28 socket cap screws. As you can see, it does just fine with the larger hardware. Therefore, I wouldn't recommend storing thin or very small items if you're using the compartments. I had some miscellaneous hardware that I decided to fill each of the remaining compartments with. Some M5 black oxide socket button head screws, 1032 zinc plated wing nuts, 832 zinc plated wing nuts, 832 black oxide Phillips screws, and 1032 18.8 stainless serrated flange nuts. Now with a fair bit of weight in the unit, it still holds up well. There actually is a weight limit, but the Ghidorah catalog doesn't make any mention of this. I had to go to the Sortimo catalog page for the L-Box Mini, which indicates that the maximum capacity is 1.5 kilograms or 3.3 pounds. I would assume that this is the weight limit for the entire stack of units. I would also assume that the failure point of these would be on the handle, so you could probably put more weight in if you carry the units from the bottom. You can also see on the Sortimo catalog page explicitly noting that this unit is food safe and even shows the unit used as a lunchbox. Taking a look at the stacking feature, we see that there are two spring latches on either side of the box. This spring looks to be the only piece of metal in the entire assembly. It takes almost no force to interlock the units together. Just simply placing it on top of the other unit will engage the latches. Stacking three units together was no problem. The only real limit I see with stacking the units together is the 1.5 kilogram weight limit. Other than that, you shouldn't have any issues getting these over five units high. The latches weren't exactly a tight or perfect fit and seemed a little loose for my taste. I kept having to check to make sure that they were engaged before lifting on the top unit. I guess this is the trade-off for making them so easy to engage when connecting the two units together. Well that wraps up the review of the Ghidorah 1102L. Check out the link in the description below to the full review including additional high resolution photos not shown here. If you like this video, subscribe for more reviews of German brand tools.